Hey, what's going on guys, Abdish here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I just wanted to make this quick video because I was having some thoughts on the RTX 5000 laptop series uh, generation that is going to be there for the next two years now. So, and thing is that I was not having a positive impression, to be honest. Uh, the specifications were not initially up and that's why I did not have any such detail in my first, you know, first look at the RTX 5000 series video that I released a few days ago. But after the CS event was over, uh, the specifications were up on NVIDIA's website and uh, specifically want to talk about the RTX 5070 because I feel that, yeah, the RTX 5070 Ti, the 5080 and the, 4, and the 5090, they are having some decent upgrades and especially in terms of VRAM capacity uh, over the last generation. The last generation did not even have a 4070 Ti. This generation, at least we have 5070 Ti and we have 5080 and 5090 and their prices are not as extreme as last generation as at least in terms of MSRP that Nvidia suggested. Uh, but I wanted to talk specifically about the 5070 because that's the lowest RTX 50 series GPU that was unveiled by Nvidia in terms of the laptops as well as in the as well as the desktops. There was no sign of an RTX 5060 or an RTX 5050, uh, which is probably going to be a laptop exclusive. Uh, but the RTX 5070, I looked into the specifications of the RTX 5070 and compared against the 4070 and uh, yeah, they are identical. So not only do we have only eight gigabytes of VRAM, so that was the first thing which I pointed out in my first video itself that the RTX 5070 for laptops, it only packs eight gigabytes of VRAM and the 70 series for laptops has been having eight gigabytes of VRAM since the GTX 1070. So the 1070, the 2070, the 3070, the 4070, and now the 5070. That's five generations of 70 series GPUs stuck at eight gigabytes. So that was the first point. So like, just let's just talk about it a bit more, right? Eight gigabytes of VRAM on a 70 series GPU in 2025, when it's like when it's absolutely clear that the eight gigabytes of VRAM buffer is no longer enough, even at 1080p in, in a lot of games now. We were seeing this trend emerge uh, from a few years back, I think with the Watch Dogs Legion, I remember, uh, which used to have the biggest differences between, you know, six gigabytes of VRAM and eight gigabytes of VRAM cards, but now we often see a ton of games where the you know eight gigabytes of VRAM is becoming a limit. If I'm not wrong, right off the top of my head, I can tell uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered as well as Horizon Forbidden West. They are eight gigabytes of VRAM is not enough for them if you are using the ultimate textures. Okay, the ultra textures if you are using that game, especially if you are on like even if you use like like lower quality settings and you use and you're playing the game at 1440p like let's say medium settings but you're keeping the textures at like ultra settings then yeah it's gone 8 gigabytes of vram is not enough and even in ghost of tsushima i remember i've seen uh, daniel owen's video on it so he compared the rtx 3060 with 12 gigabytes of vram with the rtx 4060 with 8 gigabytes of vram rtx 4060 frequently outperforms the RTX 3060 to the tune of like 15% or so. However, in Black Myth Wukong, when you're using the highest graphical settings, the RTX uh, you know, 3060 is taking the lead. And even when you enable uh, frame generation on the RTX 4060, it still doesn't help because frame generation is in, it needs more VRAM and the VRAM was just too low. Eight gigabytes of VRAM is just not enough. So. That was the first thing, just eight gigabytes of VRAM on the 70 series GPU for another year. This is the fifth generation now. We were so disappointed to see the RTX 4070. I talked about it even in my previous video that uh, like I made a retrospective video on the RTX 40 series. You can go check it out. You, you'll get a lot of information from that video. Talked about in that video how the RTX 4070 was probably the most disappointing 70 series uh, laptop GPU in decades. The 4070 was not able to convincingly beat even the 70 Ti of its previous generation. Like the 4070 was not able to convincingly beat the RTX 3070 Ti. Forget about the RTX 3080. It was they were not even able to beat the 70 Ti class GPU in a convincing manner, right? Like 
that is just insane. Like obviously in terms of specifications, if you check the RTX 3070 and the RTX 3070 and the RTX 4070, you'll see the RTX 4070 is a massive downgrade in terms of actual uh, specifications compared to the RTX 3070 and the 3070 Mobile. So that was one thing. And I joked in my Telegram group uh, la late last year, like middle, middle, late last year, that what if the RTX 5070 also has eight gigabytes of VRAM? And a lot of people were like, you know, it was obviously a joke, right? Like people would, people were already like, uh, you know, saying that that's just impossible. Nvidia will not repeat this for another generation. And here we are in 2025 with the RTX 5070 laptop still having eight gigabytes of VRAM. Moving on to the next point, like it's not just about the eight gigabytes of VRAM. It's also the other specifications which are unchanged. It's using, it has the same number of CUDA cores, the same RT cores, the same tensor cores, okay? Uh, even the cache capacity, L2, L3 cache hasn't changed. So the only upgrade that you can possibly get from the RTX 5070, you know, if you at least just go by the specifications, is going to come from the actual architecture improvements, Black Quill architecture, which Nvidia did not talk about much, like in terms of rasterization performance, what kind of upgrades are we going to expect? Nvidia did not talk about both rasterization performance as well as RT performance. They did not talk about it much. And the other place where you can expect the upgrade from is, uh, you know, in terms of clock speeds, which again, Nvidia has not revealed what's the clock speed is going to be like. Uh, I believe the RTX 50 series is being developed, uh, it is being manufactured on a on the latest TSMC's four nanometer node. I don't quite recall what that node is called, but if that node is significantly better, so NVIDIA will be able to pull off some higher clock speeds. And finally, the biggest difference between the 47 and 5070, and this is where you're going to expect the most amount of performance to come through, is from the increased uh, bandwidth because of the GDDR7 VRAM, you know? So I believe the bandwidth has almost like, it's almost like 80, 90% more. Uh, compared to the RTX 4070. If I'm not wrong, the RTX 4070 had like uh, 250 gigabits per second bandwidth, something like that. Whereas the RTX 5070 is probably going to have around 500 gigabits per second or so. So uh, yeah, that is where the maximum performance difference is going to come from. All I can say is that maximum, I'm expecting around uh, on average, like a 15% improvement, 15 to 20%, 15 to 20%, not more than that in terms of overall improvements. Uh, which obviously the RTX 5070 for laptops is not going to come close to the RTX 4080 from the previous generation for laptops. 4070 has, is around, you know, like 50% slower than the RTX 4080 uh, for laptops. So the 5070 is not going to bridge that gap, obviously. Now it's not all bad. The silver lining is that from what Nvidia has, uh, you know, showed on stage, the pricing is going to drop. So uh, if you recall the RTX uh, 4070 laptops when they dropped in India, as well as in UK, uh, they are close to like 2000 pounds. So in India, you would get them for like 1 lakh 90,000 rupees, 2 lakh rupees or 2 lakh 10,000 rupees or like, uh, yeah, in this range, like 1 lakh 90,000 to 2 lakh 10,000 rupees. So pretty just brutally overpriced for, for an 8 gigabyte uh, GPU, right? Uh, However, for the RTX 5070, NVIDIA's MSRP is around 1300 US dollars, 1300 US dollars, yep. And uh, if you do the math, so uh, RTX, uh, so typically this is how the trend is, like if a particular product is like 1300 US dollars in the US, it's going to be around 1300, you know, British pounds in UK. That's typically how the conversion is, okay. And you convert that UK price into INR price and that's what you get in Indian price. That's how the typical conversion is. So, so starting price of RTX 5070 laptops, I'm expecting to drop by a good amount, like around 30 to 40,000 rupees. I'm expecting to be cheaper compared to RTX 4070 laptops. Even now, RTX 4070 laptops are crazy expensive. They are like around 1 lakh 80,000, 1 lakh 70,000 rupees, which are pretty just brutally expensive. So I'm expecting the RTX 5070 to be quite a bit cheaper. But again, even though it's cheaper, still at around 1 lakh, you know, 40,000 rupees or something like that, it is still ex like way too expensive to pay this much amount of money. The only thing that can save the RTX 5070 and, you know, even the 40 series GPUs is DLSS 4. Like, I don't know what NVIDIA is cooking, what NVIDIA has in store for us with DLSS 4. Like they have showed us the feature set of DLSS 4, but 
specifically I'm talking about the upscaling part. I'm not talking about frame generation. I'm not interested in frame generation at all. I'm talking about the upscaling part with DLSS 4 where they're talking about all this neural rendering. Uh, uh, they are talking about this new, you know, texture compression algorithms that they're going to use, uh, which is promising to like save VRAM costs by like 50%. So they showed us, they showed some stuff where they're like able to compress the textures and they are like, it's like using less than half uh, the storage uh, compared to not using the neural rendering. So DLSS 4, no idea how it's going to turn out, uh, but DLSS 4 is going to be the make or break uh, point for uh, RTX 50 series. By the way, DLSS 4 is going to come for RTX 20 series, 30 series, as well as 40 series. 40 series is going to get that frame generation, enhanced frame generation, but not the multi-frame generation. But even RTX 40 series is going to get the enhanced upscaling part of DLSS 4, uh, you know, which probably will be compressing, you know, textures even more and, you know, will be able to provide us, like it will be able to re reduce the VRAM utilization of games, you know. So that is going to be the deciding factor. And obviously the price, like the pricing of the RTX uh, 5070 is, should be less than 150,000 rupees for sure. Uh, otherwise there's just, there's just no point in my opinion. So yeah, that's all I want to talk about the RTX 50 series. I mean, the 5070 specifically. Do let me know what are your thoughts on the RTX 5070. Are you planning to purchase a laptop this year? Uh, what are your thoughts about it? And what laptops are you looking forward to? With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.